today I will be showing you how to remove backgrounds from photos so that you can use them in your Montessori materials. The first source is free. It's a free tool called Focal Clipping. Just reach it by going to focalclipping.com. It is free to use. However, they do have um, a pricing structure. If you wish to have um, a lot of downloads. If you want to download a lot of high quality images, you might want to consider paying for them. But for what we're doing right now, um, the standard quality cutout it will be just fine. Just upload the image you would like to edit. Going for this peacock butterfly. It takes a moment and there you go. You can see how it performed. Something like this butterfly on a busier background, it has a little bit of trouble finding where the outline is. But fortunately, we can go through and they have an erase tool that we can use to clean up the image. Uh, this throws me off a little bit, but when your cursor is on the right hand side, you move the image around to where you need it to be. When you do the actual erasing, you're going to need to look at the left hand side. So I'm going to make this bigger by holding down my control key and using the mouse scroll to get closer. And to begin with, I'm just going to take a little cut out here. I think I'm going to make my brush size a little bit bigger. And just go around the outside, outside edge of the butterfly here. You can get even real, even closer so you can really see where you're going for. I'm going to pull back here. Once I've done an area, then what I like to do is go through and make my brush size really big so I can just quickly sweep up and clear out all of the extra stuff here without accidentally nipping, nipping your image. Although if you do make a mistake, say you go this way, they do have an undo button. I won't take the time to clean up this entire picture right now, but as you can see, you can actually get a fairly good, a fairly good clean cutout of a butterfly. If you wanted to make a butterfly identification set of nomenclature, For this photo, since it did actually take off the antenna, um, I would put it into a stronger or more robust photo editor and then draw in the antenna so it doesn't look quite so awkward. When you have edited the picture the way you would like, you just download and save it wherever you would like. The next background remover I am going to show you is on Lunapic. It is a free online photo editor. So as you can see right down here, it has a link directly to their background removal. I am going to select the same butterfly image so we can see if there's any difference in how, in how the tools react to removing the background of the butterfly. And as you can see, it really didn't do a better job of removing the background. We still have the same areas that we can see the plants that were behind the butterfly. You can ignore all of these tools along the side here right now, because what we want is the eraser tool. There we go. This up here is the size of the eraser, and that one is actually pretty big. I'm going to go for a smaller eraser to start with because I want to go next to the edge of the butterfly. 
and I'm going to do my control and scroll on my mouse again. to get uh, as close as I can to the edge. And I'm just going to come along here. I can get even closer where you're seeing individual pixels. But I think for right now, this is doing a pretty good job. And again, if you do an oopsie, like that, you can just go through, hit undo, and it will restore the last stroke you made. Right now, I'm just clicking, I'm holding down my left key on my mouse and dragging it along, but you could go through and just click. Oh, I didn't like that one. Okay, now I'm gonna go through, and let's see, I'm gonna make this bigger. Ooh, got good big chunks with, whoops, I took out a little too much there. That's why sometimes having a really big brush, you can't always see where it's going to line up. And you can pull back here, check your work to see how clean it's going to be by previewing the background. If I put a white background behind it, you can see really where at what areas still need to be cleaned up i'm going to go back to actually right here this ha does have a draw tool to it i think i want a smaller smaller pencil though but you could draw in whoop yep that's far too big undo i'll go for the tiny one you could do something like this to give the illusion, whoop, give the illusion of your antenna. Just like the other one, when you are ready, when you are finished and you have made all the changes that you would like to make, go ahead and apply changes. It'll save it. Right now it's gonna save as a PNG file. You can change it if you wanted to. I could convert it to a GIF or a JPEG. And there you have it. When you're ready, just go ahead and save it to your device. This tool I'm going to talk about today is Canva. Um, Canva is a graphic design platform that is just absolutely amazing. You will need the pro version in order to use their background remover tool. You can sign up for a free 30 day trial to see if it is something that you would like to use. But uh, if you're an educator or a homeschooling parent, check into the Canva for Education program because you could qualify for a free version of Canva Pro, which would be totally worth it. But to begin with, I am going to start a design and um, custom size. And what I did is I just made one that's two inches by three inches because that'll be very close to the size that I would be using on my nomenclature templates. I've already got one set up here. And when you first jump in, it'll automatically populate with templates. But what I want to start with are uploads because I have already uploaded my butterfly my butterfly image and I'm just going to drag it and make it bigger. And from here, I am going to click this edit image and background remover. And it'll take a moment. And as you can see, it has the same problems with the butterfly backgrounds as the other two programs did but there is also an erase feature here as well. So you can still go ahead and clean up, clean up your image. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go through the erase, do the scroll, mouse key combination here. 
let's see if I can do this. And here you can adjust the brush size that shows you right there how big it is. And you can take it closer if you want to make sure you get really close to the edge there. But again, I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes, not for actual use. You would edit however you like. Just do a quick clean up here. And again, you'd want to go back through and add antenna. So your butterfly doesn't look awkward. I'm going to make the brush size smaller because that's a pretty tight space to get in. I'm going to call that done for right now. Scroll back out and there we go. We have it. It will let you place the image anywhere you want. So there you have it, three different tools to use for background removers. Two out of the three are completely free and the third one could be free depending on if you qualify for the Canva for education program. All three are absolutely amazing. I tend to use Canva the most myself. But there you have it. You can remove backgrounds from images so you can have those really clean, crisp, isolated images to use in Montessori nomenclature, Montessori three-part card works. Thank you for watching today. I hope you found it useful and that you were able to use some of these tools, one of these tools to make your own Montessori three-part cards. I will leave a link in the description for all of the tools that I used today and hopefully you will find one that works really well for you and your own work. Goodbye for now and have fun making Montessori.